finally we might get a clear answer if AJ Styles and Y2J are tag teams or enemies. What's up guys, welcome back to some more radios with me and today my friends as always I'm going to give you this week's WWE Smackdown for results. So let's unwrap this show right now. Okay, uh, first we see Miss TV with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens opens the show. Miss talks about himself and um, you know as you should do. As he usually do. Um, afterwards, we see Sami Zayn comes out to talk about Owens. Then afterwards, Owens shows up. Um, after that, you know Neville joins up. You know to the party not longer after, and you know what comes next. We will have a tag team. So this is classic SmackDown trick. You know that they start up with the promo. You know three guys here. You know coming to the ring, they talking trash to you know each other, and uh, you know after that we have a match. So. Yeah, I guess. So after that, you know, intro, we saw Sami Zayn, Neville versus The Miz and Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn and Neville actually defeated Miz and Owens after Zayn pinned Miz following, you know, Kevin Owens' decision to walk out of the match, making Miz the only one facing both Sami Zayn and Neville, which means that Miz is going to lose. Um, I thought it was, this was a good match. Um, nothing special, nothing, you know, Bad it in it. Uh, it was a decent average match. Um, yeah. Afterwards, we saw Brie Bella versus Summer Rae. Uh, Brie Bella actually defeats Summer Rae. Summer Rae with the Yes Lock, which I don't understand why the fuck she needs to do the Yes Lock. Just, just don't. Just, Brie Bella, just, just don't use it. Don't use it. But anyway, afterwards, we saw. Afterwards, Lana, who sat in the commentary, hit her with another bell buster like she did in Raw. Uh, nothing special in this match. Um, it was a random Divas match. Uh, to be honest, it didn't have that much storyline in it. Uh, but there has been you know, reports that Lana might be having a match at WrestleMania 32. But we all know that that rumor has been going around from on the internet for like... God damn, so many, you know, times, but anyway. After that weird and horrible Divas match, we saw Y2J came out to make a promo. He was running to the ring, uh, you know, from the fans and even some, you know, AJ Styles fans. He had his, you know, Y2 AJ Styles shirt on, uh, but Chris Jericho actually took a trash can and fucking burned that t-shirt. I can't say if it was live, but it was live then, so we say live. Um, live on the stage, so he, you know, the t-shirt was burned. Afterwards, before it, you know, the t-shirt had, you know, been burned. The whole t-shirt, uh, white, uh, not white today. Uh, AJ Styles music hits and AJ Styles came out, but um, before AJ Styles could do something, he was attacked by the Ascension. And I, I'm sorry, guys, but what the fuck are Ascension doing here? They have no fucking business with AJ Styles and uh, Chris Jericho storyline whatsoever. They should go back to WWE, or not to, I mean, I'm sorry guys, the, the Ascension should go back to NXT because that's where they belong. They don't belong in this, you know, WWE because WWE wants to burn this tag team. So go back to NXT because WWE is going to kill you and please, for the love of fucking God, Stay away, as hell away, from these two AJ Styles and Y2J storyline. Because if I see that Ascension has something to do with this storyline, I will fucking lose my mind. Because these two, this matches um, gets me interesting in a CM match with, you know, both AJ Styles and um, Y2J or something else. But Ascension, stay the fuck away from it. After AJ Styles had recovered from his attack... Uh, he tried to attack Jericho, but Jericho had already left the, uh, the ring, the stage, whatever you want to see. So that was the end of the promo. Uh, we went to commercial. But I can tell you this, that this segment was actually, in my opinion, very entertaining. Uh, I, I, it was... There, there's always been a question I had if, if or not, you know, AJ Styles and Chris Jericho actually was a tag team or enemies. Because they have... They have um, jump shift every time because one night they're you know tag team, the other night they're kind of enemy like enemies. So I think this clears up the fact that AJ Styles 
and Chris Jericho are not a tag team. So I'm not sure if they're going to have a match at WrestleMania 32. Uh, I think they might have it because why, you know, build, you know, these two up in a storyline if they are not going to face each other at WrestleMania. But anyway, guys, uh, let's leave it there. Uh, you can give me in your comment section down below what you think about Chris Jericho and Eddie Styles' match. Well, up next, we saw King Barrett and Sheamus versus the Lucha Dragons. Um, King Barrett and Sheamus actually defeated the Lucha Dragons with Barrett pinning Sin Cara following the Bullhammer. The British Bullhammer. This match, eh, it was a good match, entertaining, um, nothing special. A decent match. Uh, I like uh, King Barrett, Way Barrett, whatever you want to call him. I like him. Uh, Sheamus, he was okay. The Lucha Dragons, yeah, they were okay too. After that, we saw Ryback. Um, Ryback did a backstage interview, um, commenting his issue with Kalisto. And you see, this is the thing I I don't want to happen. Because right now, WWE is planning to make Kalisto face Ryback uh, at WrestleMania. I think, I believe he, Ryback is going to face Kalisto for the United States Champion at you know WrestleMania 32. And that match, I don't want to see. There are so many points I can describe why I don't want to see this match. Because Ryback, to me, personally... Is not the best guy that I am interested in to see. Kalisto, on the other hand, is a guy that I'm really looking forward to see because he is like, he's not like a Rey Mysterio, but he's typical Rey Mysterio in some kind of way. I mean, he does, you know, cool moves, and I mean, moves that I think is looks kind of scary to do. Um, but I think I'm kind of looking forward to see Kalisto's match at WrestleMania. I wouldn't pick Ryback for his opponent because I think that will um, low the match quality because we all know that Ryback is the muscle type of guy in Kalisto or more like the, um, the Lucha Mexican high fly style. So I don't think that together will be a good match, but I can have wrong. But um, yeah, afterwards we see we come to the main event for this show. So the main event for tonight's or tomorrow night's WWE SmackDown is Dean Ambrose teaming up with Dolph Ziggler and the Usos versus the White Family in the main event. And I'm gonna give you two seconds to figure out and guess who you think will win. Okay, that's time. Time left. So if you th if you think that the face will stand tall to end the show. Congratulations, my friend. You have just won the, you know, that one million fucking correct answers. Because, as always, the face always, I cannot say always, but for the most part, stand tall to end the show. Because Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, and the users actually defeated White Family. And the White Family lost again. Again. Which takes everything momentum, that like like the small little momentum that the White family had, and fucking throw it away, and we will never maybe never see that momentum come back again. Because I'm so freaking sick and tired on seeing the, you know the White family having a supposedly good you know storylines, but WWE you know felt like fuck that idea, so we're not gonna have it because there was reports you know months ago or not. Was it months ago? Yeah, I think one month ago at Royal Rumble. Uh, that um, the White family or Bray White was supposed to face Bray White since the storyline that, that they had when they, you know, took out Brock Lesnar from the Royal Rumble. But WWE doesn't want to do that because now, you know, Dean Ambrose is set to face Brock Lesnar instead of Bray Wyatt. It's just a fucking complete mess, to be honest, guys. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what WWE is planning here. Um, I, I had actually hoped that Bray Wyatt or the White family could have some good momentum that the final push for them could might happen but god damn I had wrong um, the White family are just here to lose I mean they're pretty much a jobber I mean I like Bray Wyatt's promos I like everything that the, uh, that, the Bray, that the White family do but it's not it feels like WWE doesn't give a shit about them. I mean, they say that, like, they see that the White Family have potential, but they just, fuck it, they don't listen. 
So I'm not sure what's going to happen at WrestleMania 32. I'm still pumped for WrestleMania 32. Um, I think WrestleMania always will be good. But over these years, WWE has made some stupid um, bookings. I mean, this, like, for example, these bookings with Bray Wyatt has been shit. Uh, I thought the, uh, the bookings between AJ Styles and uh, Y2J would be bad since we already have seen these two face each other. Because I was actually more um, happy to see uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens because that match was also you know supposed to happen at WrestleMania, but WWE, WWE decided to not do it for some goddamn strange reason. I don't know why they don't want to book you know AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for the IC title at WrestleMania, the biggest pay per view of them all, because I think that would drew people to see that match, including me. But I'm just so fucking tired of seeing the stupid mistake that the WWE is making right now. And um, yeah, but what can what I can say about this main event for the show? It was okay, nothing special. At least it didn't end up, you know, with disqualification. But in the other hand, you know, the the White family take a loss here, uh, lose here, whatever you want to say. Uh, I think it, the main event could be better. Uh, Especially if they want to build SmackDown great again, I think they need to make better main events. But overall, the main event was good, and the, and if and yeah, guys, that's the whole sh you know show for tomorrow night's SmackDown. Um, if I can give my personal um, opinion about the whole show, like always, it's a decent show. I mean, there's few times where SmackDown is actually that damn good that you like feel like you feel pumped to see it. Maybe if they announced a match on Raw or you know SmackDown before that the special match is gonna happen. Maybe you're gonna you know be more uh, focused to watch it. But otherwise, SmackDown is just a, um, a decent good wrestling show. It's not the best and it's not the worst. It's it's a decent show in my opinion for now or for this episode. So I give this show a uh, 7, no, I give it 8 out of 10. So anyway, guys, that's for me. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. And as always, have a nice day. Peace, guys.